consumer. Onion downy mildew is caused by the fungal pathogen Peronospora destructor. Let us review the range of symptoms and signs associated with outbreaks of this pathogen. Initial downy mildew infection may be observed during early morning hours or after prolonged periods of cool, cloudy weather. These lesions often appear on lower portions of leaves that are less exposed to direct sunlight. Note the gray mycelium and spores of the fungus on this infected leaf. Leaves often fold over at infected points. Young lesions are oblong measuring a half to one inch in length and are yellow-green. Multiple lesions may develop on individual leaves of plants. Older lesions are slightly sunken, oval, and may exhibit a tan to pale purple color. Multiple lesions may cause a leaf to wilt and die back. Affected plants take on a tan to gray color on leaves and tips, which have been infected by the pathogen. Continued development by the pathogen results in sporulation on tissue seven to 10 days after infection. These spores are then spread by wind to other leaves and plants in the field and surrounding fields. A localized infection or focus may appear within 10 to 14 days after infection and eventually cause more widespread symptoms. Improper disposal of onion culls can add to this or next season's disease pressure. The downy mildew fungus can survive in systemically infected plants and bulbs and sporulate the following season to repeat the disease cycle. Crop rotation, or the lack thereof, can also add to this season's disease pressure. Continual cropping to onions can aggravate disease pressure within a localized area. Cultural practices, which emphasize excess and late season applications of nitrogen fertilizer, can delay crop maturity, increase canopy density, and predispose onions to infection by this pathogen, as well as affect groundwater quality. Irrigation practices which provide excess water on a short interval late in the season can also aggravate disease losses from downy mildew. Environmental conditions which favor sporulation and infection by downy mildew include periods of low to moderate temperature and high moisture.